Between 1903 and 1905, the General Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church met and decided to send some missionaries to Africa. In October 1906, Pastor A. A. Kaskalen, his wife and Pastor Peter Nyambo from Malawi finally settled in Karachuonyo, Kendu Bay in today's Homa Bay County. In 1937, Nairobi Central Seventh-day Adventist Church, one of the oldest churches in Kenya, was founded. Some of the missionaries at the Kenya Mission Field and later East African Union Mission congregated there. Our Family In 1996, some of the East Africa Union workers started congregating at their homes in Lovington on a rotational basis. It later grew into a Sabbath school sponsored by the Nairobi Central SDA Church. I began staying in Lovington in 1996, January. By then there was no place of worship. Then in the mid of 1996, uh, Friday evenings, we began worshiping in houses. That is, today someone's a family, tomorrow another family, tomorrow round, 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 round. In April 2002, the Lovington Sabbath School was organized into a church by Pastor Francis Kariuki with elders, late Professor Gershom Amayo and Professor Josh Aluoch being seconded from Nairobi Central Church. The first officers were late Smart Chokotho, Head Elder, Sister Lillian Orieko, Church Clerk, Sister Florence Otewa, Treasurer. Some of the pioneer families include the Othos, the Ngokos, the Buanas, the Muasias, the Njagis, the Munenes, the Odiambos, the Chepkwons, the Muganes, the Chokothos, the Masis, the Apolas, the Lumwes, just to mention but a few. The church grew both in membership, in outreach, and in rich activities. The children's department has grown, I use the word exponentially, um, in the time that I've been a member. We had a children's department that was vibrant. As a matter of fact, I credit the relationships that I've developed to the children's department because I became friends with mothers and fathers of the children who were my children's um, age mates. And then came the clubs. I think um, when some friends and I, our children, reached the age of joining Adventurers, we realized that we wanted to make the Adventurers Club something that was really vibrant here at Lavington Church and so we really pushed and came together and um, kind of kicked off the Adventurer Club. Lovington has been a warm home for members of the international community who live and work in Kenya. Our community. The church has continued to be involved in outreach activities like church planting, soul winning, disaster response and evangelistic campaigns. We grew and that is the time that the evangelistic programs of this church commenced. We had programs in uh, the police stations of Mudangari. We also had it uh, at Kilimani Police. Each, each program took two weeks. Somebody say amen. amen. Too many Christians believe faith is just a feeling about God's word and then you do whatever you like contrary to God's word. Faith is obedience in action. We have a, a very successful and ongoing community outreach that we are doing every two weeks outside the church here. We, we, we pray with them, we do Bible study with them, we are doing discover uh, Bible lessons, and that way they will be able to know Christ as, as they are getting empowered. Our Sanctuary In the year 2001, the then East African Union Mission 
donated this piece of land on where the sanctuary currently sits. I was privileged to be asked to join the committee to discuss the design for the church building. Initially, our discussions looked at a design with a seating capacity of between 250 and 300 worshippers. Although originally the church was to hold a small number of between 250 to 300 members, the Spirit of the Lord led the new church leadership to expand this vision. It was supposed to be a small church and I think when some of us came from outside, we had experienced the issues of getting land uh, for churches and realize that uh, if we don't do something sizable, we may suffer. This caused some difficulties, some um, disagreements. There are those who felt that we should build a small church. There are those who felt that um, this was a good catchment area. Um, just behind here, a new, a new estate was being built. Around us, some of these um, high rises were not there, but people were slowly moving into Lavington, and uh, the congregation was moving, was, was growing. So we, we said, let it be big. Members embraced and committed themselves to actualize the vision through prayers and means, some even donating their own properties to the church for fundraising, like Pastor David Churu and Elder Okiri Mochache. The church treasury, guided by the book of Nehemiah 1313, played a big role in managing God's resources. We always challenge the treasurers that the irreducible minimum qualification for you to be in charge of the storehouse of the Lord is that you should be considered trustworthy. And because of this, they were so transparent in terms of reporting. And one thing that uh, we thank the treasury then uh, for then is that because of reporting, uh, members were able to to respond you know, to, to the appeals that were being made, informed by where we were in terms of giving vis-a-vis -vis where we were supposed to be and, and where we were going. Those who would make commitments and not give, you know, it was obvious that I am in that number. Those who made us exceed our targets were in those numbers. And, and, and for that matter, we really, really want to to thank God for the, the role the treasury played and also in terms of making funds available as and when we are progressing with the development. Our future. According to our senior pastor, Paul Owar Ogalo, the church has a mission. Lovington has got a mission that is pegged on the three angels' messages that we need to call upon the world to get ready for the soon return. And as the three angels are giving us the messages that we need to tell the world to fear God and give him glory because the time of his judgment has come. Lovington Church has come up with a strategic plan of evangelism that is going to run for the next five years and is going to focus on reaching out to God's children within the conference within the station, within the union, and even beyond 1040 window, that we are also going to minister to places like Ethiopia and South Sudan. Yeah, I want to acknowledge the leadership of this church, beginning with the pastoral team, the elders, the church board, departmental heads, and the entire membership of Lovington. I want to really salute them because of their coordination, cooperation, love and support for God's work that has enabled us to reach where we are.
I also want to thank the higher levels of the church for their support that they have given us and also being there for us whenever crises are. And I just want to thank all our members. They are wonderful. They are amazing. Awesome to have such kind of a congregation. As we dedicate this sanctuary today, let us all embrace the church's rallying call. I will go with the everlasting gospel as we prepare our souls for the second return of our Christ Jesus, who is our Lord and Savior. Amen.